Welcome to another video with Mr. Long. In today's lesson, we're looking at word processes in Microsoft Word, and we're looking at how we can create and use bookmarks and how we can create and use hyperlinks in our documents. So here I have got a Word document that we've worked on before. Now we are going to create a bookmark. Now if you think about a bookmark, for example, in the real world, if you have a book that you are reading, the bookmark is there so that you know where to go to exactly to a point in the book. Maybe you want to continue reading from that particular point and so on. So the idea behind a bookmark is to create almost like a placeholder so that we can go back to that specific point. So let's have a look. So I'm going to go all the way down. Let's go right to near the end of the document. Let's go all the way down, not the last bit. Let's go here. Let's pretend I already want to come back to this. There's something about this part here that I want to reevaluate or something. Maybe I want to come back and maybe reword this and I want to record, make sure I come back to the specific point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bookmark over here. So you can create, you can select the whole text or just the word if you want. It doesn't really matter. So you can even just put your cursor over there if you wanted to. I'm going to use the word there. I'm going to put a bookmark there and I'm going to come here to insert and then over here you'll see bookmark. So when I click on bookmark, it's going to ask me, okay, this is a name. We're going to give it a name. So let's say this is, let's call it the design issue. That's what we want our bookmark to be. So I'm going to click on it and hide it and add it. Sorry. Let's click on add. Boom. So they it added a bookmark. Now you might go, but we don't see anything. I know we don't see anything. But if I'm in my document over here and I go, oh, I want to go back to that particular point. Well, we can come over here to find and we can say go to and we can go to a page. Oh, there's bookmarks. If I click on bookmark, there's all the bookmarks that have been created in this document will be here. Now at the moment we only have one, but there's the bookmark I want to go to and I click on it and I can go to it. It'll take me directly to that particular point in the document. If you really want to know where your bookmarks are in the document, what you can do is you can come here to file and we go here all the way to options. And when we get to the options, we can go to advanced. And scroll down a little bit and you will see here in the show document content there's show bookmarks it's, if we tick it and we click OK you'll see it'll put a little marker around it so we can see that that's where there's a bookmark and so on so you can do that I'm gonna undo it because I don't normally like to see that but that is an option available to you so we've created our bookmark now let's say you had a real book and you put a bookmark there at some point you'd come back to that book and you would want to go to that particular point now we just showed you the go to option by going to this particular point but we can also create a hyperlink that will take us to that bookmark so let's just have a look at what a hyperlink is so a hyperlink normally a hyperlink like you see them in web pages when you click on a hyperlink it takes you to a different part of that web page or to another website or another web page so we can do that in our document we can actually move around so let's say I'm going to come over here. Let's say at this point, if I click on this layout options, I want to be able to move down to that particular bookmark. So let's go do that. So I've created the bookmark already. That's the key first step. You can't go to a place if there's no bookmark there already. So first create your bookmark. Then we're going to go and insert. And I'm going to come here to a link. So we want to insert a link. So there's a whole bunch of options that are already there for us. But I'm going to click on link. You can also right click and you'll see there's a link option there as well. So let's go click on link. And what it's going to do, it's going to ask me, do I want to go to an existing file or web page? Maybe I want to go to another file that's in my on my computer or to a web page. I could type in the website address. Maybe I want to go to Google, go www.google.com, for example. You see, it puts the HTTP in for me. So you can put a hyperlink that goes to an actual web page or to another document if you want to open up another document that has other information and you can go look for it or browse for it you can go to create a new document if you wanted to do that you can say i must create a new document later you can even go to an email address if you want to and specify the email address and the subject and some details and stuff like that there if you want to but the bookmark is a place in this document now if i click on there you will see not only will we see our bookmarks, there's our bookmarks, there, there they are, boom. But also all of our heading styles that we've put in our table of contents, there's all our headings. So we can actually go to a particular heading if we wanted to read, we can do that as well. So those are options available to you. You can even add a screen tip. In other words, what will appear when you put your mouse over it. So you can click over here and say, go to the design issue. So let's see what that happens when we say there's the screen tip. Okay, so we added a screen tip. So we want to go to that bookmark. So I'm going to click on there, boom, and click OK. 
So now it's a hyperlink. It's gone blue. It's got an underline. That is now a hyperlink. So when I move my mouse over it, do you see it says go to the design issue? That's the screen tip. So if you want to specify what is displayed there, that's what you do if you want to specify the screen tip. If I click here, it doesn't do anything. It, like, it just lets me change the text. That's not what I want. But if I press control, you see it says press control and click on the link. So I'm going to press on control and click on the link and it will take me to this part of the document where the bookmark was. So there we go. So that's how you can hyperlink to a particular part on your document. So I would recommend that you add a couple of bookmarks to different parts and then you can create links that go to the different parts. So let's try another one. Let's say I want to go to the top of the page. Let's say I want to go to this part here. I'm going to go to that particular part. Now I don't need to create a bookmark for it because there's, it's already a heading. But let's pretend we didn't have that. I'm going to make a bookmark. Boom. Go add this is I'm gonna add one called top topic and add it. So now I've got two bookmarks. Now if I scroll down to the bottom, I can add little text here. Say go to top, and then on the top part of that word, I'm gonna go to a link and I'm gonna say go to a place in this document. I'm gonna go not to design issue but to the top topic bookmark. Click OK, and now I have a link. When if I click on it, control click, I go back to the top. And there we go. Those are how you create bookmarks and hyperlinks. Support the channel by clicking on that subscribe button. Maybe share us with your friends so we can help them as well. And go to our playlist for other topics on office-related content. And remember, most importantly, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.